episode 4 of Through the Ages, and today we take a look at a relatively new weapon to the series. Making its first appearance in Battlefield Play for Free, this weapon has become a favourite of the player who likes close quarters combat, and that theme remains throughout all of its sightings in the series. Today, we're looking at the AS Val. After Play for Free came Bad Company, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 4. Made by the Russians, the weapon is technically classed as an assault rifle, but in the Battlefield series, has taken on a couple of different forms, even appearing as a full variant in the Bad Company series, and that's where we're going to start. Here in Bad Company 2, the AS Val took the form of the VSS Vinterez, a very special sniper rifle. To unlock it, you needed to obtain 26,000 points using the recon class, and the weapon came equipped as standard with a 6x scope and the iconic integrated suppressor. The reason it was so special is because it was a fully automatic sniper rifle, as opposed to the other, more standard, semi-automatic or bolt-action rifles on offer. As the VSS is simply a variant of the AS Val, it's almost as if someone just shoved a high-powered scope on an assault rifle and called the day done. As such, the rifle saw a lot of close quarters action, doing 25 max damage inside 20 meters, and as the rifle was stuck in the recon class, this meant on certain servers, the amount of bushwookies running around as close quarters infantry was off the scale. The VSS was technically the most powerful weapon in the game, due to its high rate of fire, 600 rounds a minute, and the high damage model, max damage 25. Just like all other rifles as well, it could be equipped with the red dot sight or the 4x optic, making it much easier to use in close quarters as well. One major flaw in this otherwise awesome use case was the way the bullets performed. Unlike the weapons of similar setup, the submachine guns in the engineer class, the bullets suffered from an increased spread when firing full auto meaning the use of the weapon as an automatic rifle was really only viable in extreme close quarters. However, as with most weapons in the game, burst fire resets the spray penalty, which meant if a skill player knew what they were doing, they could absolutely dominate the enemy in close quarters. It's safe to say here in Bad Company 2 that the AS Val or the VSS Vinteres is an extremely effective weapon if you use it completely the opposite way to what you're supposed to. Moving on to Battlefield 3 now, and the AS Val took on the role perhaps what most people will know it to be, a PDW. Despite the fact that it's still technically an assault rifle, the weapon is classified as an all-kit weapon in Battlefield 3, which falls into the PDW category. You needed to reach rank 45 in-game, and it featured an extremely high recoil rate but it had a hidden secret. Despite that high recoil overall, the weapon had an extremely low first shot recoil multiplier, which meant the first shot fired would land in almost exactly the same place as the second bullet, making it deadly if you could hit the head or torso with the first few rounds. Doing a max damage of 20 up close and having a rate of fire of 900 rounds a minute if you landed the first two shots to the head, you'd do 80 damage in such a small amount of time that the player you shot wouldn't even have known what would have happened by that point. If you knew anyone on the server was using the AS Val and you were playing in a close quarter section of that map, then you pretty much wanted to stay clear of that person, especially if they killed you a couple of times already. That meant they were effective with the rifle, and here, the rifle just shows how powerful it really can be. Its downside in Battlefield 3, though, was its built-in suppressor, which reduced its bullet velocity to only 333 meters a second, and that made the gun extremely ineffective at longer ranges. You really had to lead your target. 
Based on all of that though, once again the AS Val became an extremely popular choice of the recons wanting to be more aggressive. And I know for a fact, in TDM, this weapon was hugely popular. Perhaps the highlight of the gun in the franchise, as anyone could use it, it was an all-kit weapon, not just stuck to the recons like in Bad Company 2. And finally, Battlefield 4. Compared to Battlefield 3, the weapon got an increased damage at close range from 20 to 30 max damage, that's quite high, but it lost its unique ability to land two shots in the same place. And this ultimately led to the weapon losing its larger appeal among the community, as it fell into line with the rest of the PDWs available in the game. You can attach the angled grip or the folding grip to try and help reduce the first shot recoil down again, but there is no real way to get it to truly perform the way it did in Battlefield 3. However, it is still a very effective weapon at close range with its 900 round rate of fire and high damage model, plus the integrated suppressor does keep you off the minimap at all times when firing, and some people underestimate just how powerful of a mechanic that really is. If you're not on the minimap and you're killing people behind enemy lines, maybe you've gone on a flank, then the enemy team aren't going to know you're there unless they physically spot you or see you on their screen. So having the suppressor on there all of the time is a very valuable asset to have. I think it's clearly apparent that the AS Val was most effective and most popular during its Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3 days. I myself found it most useful in Battlefield 3 because of Noshar TDM, where it was an absolute powerhouse. I know a lot of other people that swore by the weapon too. Rival X Factor is one of those. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments for the next weapon on Through the Ages. And while you're down there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.